Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be an Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well a Aries Rising, a weekly tarot reading for November 4th to a November 10th, uh, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Aries, that is to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that uh, you will have to face and hopefully overcome here, that is to be the Knight of Wands, followed by the third card that represents the positive aspect of the week uh, for you guys, that is to be the Ace of Pentacles, and the last one, <coughs> excuse me, that stands for the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering, for your behalf, that is to be the uh, the Hierophant card. All right, so uh, the Two of Pentacles uh, as a topic here is going to be catalyzed with e d Seven of Wands. So we do have an, an a passive neutrals in this particular case, and these two cards are strongly uh, are talking about a um. A, well, I don't know how exactly to explain it. So um. Well, simply they do divulge a, a difficult alignment or things that are to appear throughout the week that may have that may appear as a, a difficult alignment to you and your current plans. What I mean is that those are to be these kind of like a small adaptations that you will have to make reassessing uh, your current plans, positions or how you're going to go by with your week and etc, etc. For a reason being is to make your uh, your advance moving on forward either regarding career or either regarding relationship a, a bit or significantly more productive and more efficient as well. So uh, what is really the, uh, the, the structure of these couple of cards or what really it is the core of those couple of cards? Well, here throughout this week is going to be from a, an immense importance that you are to to be somewhat a, a adaptable and playful in regards to the endeavors and the enterprises that may come into your way because <clears throat> what i do suspect is going to happen it is that a, a very similar enterprise or a very similar opportunity let's say uh, it is to come to you similar opportunity to an, to an opportunity that you are um, that you are hoping for or that you are anticipating similar but not quite there and uh, this is to be the uncomfortable adaptation that you need to do example you want to date you will have an opportunity to date with someone but that someone is not going to be quite the person you want to date with it's going to be almost there but not quite and for that reason okay you will have to kind of make a certain small compromises you need to let go of um, a, a concept 
of yours or outdated standards of yours. In either way, <clears throat> these small adaptations and these small changes here will call for you to be playful and as well uh, they may open a um, they may open kind of like a, a room for a significant improvement that that but that will be decided on a further stage uh, in your future. So uh, what is to be the uh, challenge here in this week for you Aries? That is to be the Knight of Wands and uh, it is catalyzed here by the King of Swords. So we do have a person, these two cards are a, uh, active friends and uh, what they kind of point it is that the challenge is going to be this enterprise if youthful in spirit person who is uh, determined to, to do whatever it takes in order for them to uh, manifest their goal. And with the catalyst of the, of the King of Swords, this catalyst puts on an additional property of that person and the property is ruthlessness. They don't care. It's, it's as simple as that. They don't care what are going to be the consequences or the, um, yeah, the consequences and the repercussions of their actions. Only thing that they do care about it is that they kind of reach the, their goal. And for one or, the, or another reason as a challenge, the goal of this person is kind of like it is a an anti-goal of uh, of yours which is kind of shame because with these two cards you uh, if you both kind of be able to um ac accomplish or kind of establish a common ground a lot of things can be achieved through a, a mutual cooperation but not at this particular uh, but not at this particular point that person have a, a very sharp mind they are very analytical uh, they kind of uh, their actions are very very effective and uh, usually they get what they want so that being said um, challenging wise uh, it looks like that the only thing you have to do at that particular point is not to stand on their way just get out of their way uh, whenever you have the chance to do so because otherwise uh, I don't think that any resistance here is going to be uh, rather productive and uh, the next card it is to be the positive aspect of your week we do have the ace of pentacles and it is accompanied by the queen of pentacles so these two cards are standing as a, a passive friend uh, passive supporters excuse me and as a passive supporters it does look like that this week itself or th th these two cards are related to the topic okay and um that opportunity I was talking about, the topic that is not going to be quite as the same as you have anticipated to be, nonetheless is going to have uh, the, the potential to further your goal. So you have to so you have to play around with it a little bit. Additionally to that, the opportunity itself will allow you to capitalize on the uh, options available here to for unexplored. All right, so you you are going to maximize your current um, your current positions. You're going to maximize your current uh, um, resources. I would say stabilize as well your environment and from there it does look like that slow and steady progress is to be established but that is only if you don't get on the way of the Knights of Wands that we do have here into the challenging cards. Additionally to that, <clears throat> if we do exclude this uh, really warmongering person, it looks like that the rest of your rela relationships with friends, co-workers, you know, intimate relationships as well are rather to go very, very well. But these two cards here are advising you to be a bit more self-absorbed throughout uh, throughout this week, or in other words, to think first and foremost for yourself and what makes you feel happy, okay? And explore that kind of a feel that makes you feel happy. And additionally to that, uh, if you can do, I guess, uh, if you do have an opportunity to do success, uh, business maneuvers, maneuvers, excuse me, that are to be, um, that are presenting to have certain growth, most likely you're gonna be successful in them as well. And the last card that we do have for you, Aries, that is to be the uh, Hierophant card, which stands for the Guidance, <clears throat> and it is accompanied with the Ten of Cups, or rather catalyzed by the Ten of Cups. 
So we do have an passive friends in this particular case. And uh, as a guidance, these two cards are telling us a few things. Now, the first and the most important thing, it is that whatever problems you do have or the, the problems that you are to have, it is that this lack of perfection into your opportunity okay but the guidance itself points that even though there is some sort of a, um, uh, a mismatch or a disruption into the expectations of the opportunity this mismatch or a, um, a lack of resonance there can be resolved in the already existing framework of how things are to move on forward and if you do have that problem and can't cannot figure out how, you can definitely have these meaningful conversations with a mentor of yours or uh, with a person who already done what you are trying to do here, who can guide you, who can counsel you in a, a sense of how you can tackle with, uh, this, uh, with this endeavor that stands in front of you, that you may feel about it a little bit, uh, a little bit insecure. But should you follow the hierarchy, should you follow the, ex the established and uh, uh, settled con con uh, concept of improvements, either career or, rela or relationship. What I mean is that going by step by step according to the common code of conduit, your life, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, will um, increase its worth. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading, um, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.